let's talk about scuba diving now think about this scuba diving is what scuba diving is me having tanks with me scuba tanks and actually diving in the water so i can take a breath just like one year said what happens if i can't breathe but you have to breathe right so through scuba you're able to do that now the deepest a scuba diver has gone is over 332 meters is that beyond the sunlight zone anyone yes yes a little so, bit of sunlight exactly a little bit but that means that a lot of discovery has happened which is why we were able to see those videos of deep sea octopus right because the divers go down and submarine go down and take their pictures okay some of the gear that scuba divers use well that right there is the wet suit the dive special suit that we were all talking about this picture right there is yes. tanks they have okay trick question guys what do you think is inside the tanks air or oxygen mom. trick question so mom. think about this one mom 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 Uh, yeah i think uh, it, this time kobi has to answer kobi has been quiet so, <laughs> since long she's quiet yes kobi what do you think what do you think kobi it's air or it's oxygen in the tanks um i think it is i'm just thinking it is air or oxygen what uh, do you want what would you want it to be if I, if you had to go scuba diving in 2 minutes and you had this tank What would you call it? What, what do you think is inside it? There's no wrong answer. Go ahead. Just don't worry about saying the right answer. I'm thinking. Okay. Okay. Answer. Can I tell? Yes, short answer. I'm oxygen. Oxygen. Oh, oxygen. Well, well, trick question. A yes. lot of people say oxygen, but you know what would happen? Never. 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 <laughs> yeah, because there's so many other uh, gases in air that you also need. Okay, guys, let's move forward. We're gonna try and imagine that we're wearing our scuba gear. We're sitting by the beach in the middle of this quarantine, and nothing is happening. And we're going to write dive in. Okay. So let's try and see what it looks like for the scuba divers underwater. That's some orange fish. There's some more coral. See how huge that is. Looks like a hill almost, and there's a diver right next to it. A lot of people also call them coral gardens because they're so huge. They look like a big garden. And do you see how the water around them is also dark? What's there? Oh wow! Oh, oh, shark right there. Yeah. It's actually a very rare sighting. A lot of divers spend their lifetime trying to see one. Ma'am, it's a hammerhead shark. It's a hammerhead. Oh exactly. wow! Head. The head looks like a hammer. Now that's the whale shark. I'm very scared of going deep in the sea. I'll never even. One is she's scared. Oh god! I'm scared of sea. Oh, but. Okay, who but it looks. Any guesses, guys? Ma'am, what? Ma'am, probably you can just show them the fish that you were asking. Let's see. Right there. Yes. What's this? Well, it's a hard guess to be honest. <laughs> I had to Google this myself. It's called Moorish Idol. You guys can Google this later. I'll send you some names. Anyway, guys, what I wanted to show you by this video is that that's the kind of life scuba divers are able to see underwater. So, in terms of diversity, how many different kinds of fish did we see? Did any of did they all look different to you guys? Because they look different to me. Yes, ma'am. They look different. Yes, ma'am. They look different. Okay. Yeah, Naisha, you have any different point to make there? Yes, ma'am. Because most of the times, most of the times we see uh, some fishes. Mm -hmm. They are like normal fishes which people eat. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. But when we see this, they are in different shy uh, type and. The shape and the color are different. Exactly. So yes. it looks more interesting. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Somebody else also has something to say over here. I see your hand. 
the van that's the van i said that people eat gray fish that's why we can we don't see really that now that's actually a very interesting question because it's okay if you don't know the names of these fish because that's fine i mean we don't live underwater right so how hmm. how will we know the names of these fish but the important thing to observe is how colorful they are right now now why do you think that fish that live in shallow water are so colorful while other fish that live deeper in the water are not so colorful did you know that's actually a thing now my nude first but i forgot again <laughs> okay okay anyone else why do you think fish in shallow water are colorful and fish in deep water are not so colorful because that's a fact but can you give me a guess ma 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 no ya tan mai ma'am since uh, sunlight reaches only in the sunlight zone that's why uh, their uh, basically the skin shines oh okay. that's a good point because you brought right. us to the next topic yes. so just like on land plants make the first food and then herbivores eat them and then in the food chain we move forward similarly under water the corals are the ones that make food they are like plants but they are animals so it's a little complicated they are alive but they do the work of an animal how do they do that um they basically make food from sunlight so most colorful fish live around the coral reef to eat that food but the deeper you go because there's lesser sunlight there's not so many plants that the fish can eat so they start also feeding on each other right but the most interesting thing here is that like someone pointed out about eating fish human beings oh, live wow. but we go to the ocean also to get our food do you think animals inside ocean do that do you think they come out to eat outside or are they sufficient and happy inside the ocean i guess yes happy inside the ocean the happy inside the ocean right uh, naisha is raising her hand ma'am yes naisha but ma'am most of the fishes like dolphins mm -hmm. they also need air like us exactly and that's a very good point mm -hmm. some of the animals come on surface yeah there's many like that the sea otters who float on but the ma'am in the mm -hmm. deep sea only mhm mm No, but they actually have to come on shallow sea, no, to be able to come out. Like you said, dolphin, even sharks do that. They have to come out and pump some water out. Even turtles, yeah, yeah, exactly. All of them have to come up and quickly take a breath. Okay, let's move forward. Now, don't you think that smaller sea creatures should be able to protect themselves from predators? Because if everyone's together in the ocean, how how do I know I'm not going to get eaten next minute? If I'm a fish and I'm under water, how do I know that I need? How do I know where to be? How do I know that I'm safe? Any guesses? Ma'am, because the big fishes can't go in small places, and the small fish can go. Yeah, so well, that's, that's a good point. And also, what they do is different kinds of fish have different ways of protecting themselves. It's actually very interesting if you think about it. Um, mm -hmm. Also, the fish just by memory know that my threat is only this, 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 and this. This fish looks big, but even though it's big, it's not going to come and attack me. Which is also why, when human beings go underwater as scuba divers, we're not a threat to a lot of fish because we look big, but they don't know us to be their hunters. Sadly, so they chill around us. Okay, but thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to like, comment, and share the video. Subscribe to Real School and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Check out the link in the description box to book a free demo workshop or boot camp for your child.